Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will continue tabular data interpretation. First, read the information which is given. Here the information is about number of cars of different models and colors sold in two metro cities in a year. Here the information is about number of cars of different models and different colors in two different uh, metro cities uh, in, in, in a particular year and each and every value is given in terms of uh, thousands. Each and every value is given in terms of thousand. That is the information. All the values. Uh, at the end of uh, each and every value you need to keep uh, three zeros. Uh, why? Because uh, if it is indicating 25. Suppose, for example, this is 25. If it is 25, that is indicating that 25,000. That is indicating 25,000. 25,000 of uh, red color and uh, which type? Uh, model A. Red color, model A from Metro M. Similarly, Metro H. Uh, right? Uh, total how many colors we have? Total five colors. One is black, red, blue, white and silver these are the five different colors which are available and two different metro cities and the models are a b c d e f these are the models available total six models five different colors two metro cities uh, that is the information first read the first question the total number of silver color cars sold in metro h Silver color Metro H is approximately what percent to that of uh, Metro M. As we are talking about silver color, silver color Metro H, silver color Metro H. Total number, total number in the sense you need to add all these values. You need to add all these values. The summation of all these values in Metro H. This value is what percentage of Metro M. It means you need to add all these values. First, I will take Metro H. Metro H, silver value. Metro H, silver total, which is equal to, I am adding all these values. 5 plus 7, 12, 14, 16 and 23. Units place is 3. And then, 2 plus 1, 3, 5, 9, 12, 15, 17, 173. Total, met, uh, total silver color cars in Metro H, that is 173. Whereas coming to Metro M, the same color, silver, silver total, which is equal to how much? Calculate all the values, 5 plus 5, 10, 10 plus 2, 12, units place is 2. 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 3, 9, 13, 16, 16, 18 and 19. 192 right here if you observe carefully metro h uh, silver color total 173 and metro m silver color total 192 total 192 now the question is uh, total number of uh, silver color cars in metro h in metro h that is 173 this value is approximately what percentage of uh, metro m Approximately what percentage of Metro M that is 192. Now you need to calculate this value. 173 divided by 192. That is the value you need to calculate. Here, if you take the round figure numbers, here it is 170 and this is 190. Zeros will be cancelled. And then after that, if you look at these numbers, here it is around... If you take this is as 20, 25 times uh, 17 fives are, 17 fives are value is uh, 85, right? 17 fives are 85, but it is not 20, it is not 20, this is 19 only. Definitely you will get a 5 point something value. This 5 point something value is multiplied with, uh, in fact this is 173, we have taken this value as uh, 17 ohm, 170 only. So, numerator value we are reduced. So, the exact answer, if it is approximate, uh, that is 85, but we want the 
uh, exact answer in the options 85 is also there so you must be aware of this particular value whether this value is uh, greater than 85 or less than 85 once uh, clearly you can calculate this value 172 divided by 192 into 100 this is a value you need to calculate right if you take this value as 10 denominator is reduced denominator is reduced and here also numerator reduced somehow these two are matches you can cancel but if you cancel these two how much you will get here it is 5 point and then 5 is a remainder 15 50 means uh, 2 times 38 uh, 5.2 17 into 5.2 what is that value 88.4 88.4 as this value is itself 88.4 definitely this value is 5.2 something value right so the nearest answer to this 88.4 is obviously 90 percentage it is not 85 percentage if you take directly this is 20 you will get the answer as 85 that is not the correct answer. 90 is the correct answer. So many students will do the mistake at this point. You must be very careful with this particular point. Why? Because you have the options like 85 and 90. Even though these two are uh, somewhat nearest to each other, you must be aware of these two values. Whether our required answer is close to 90 or else close to 85. Our required answer is close to 90. It is not close to 85. Next one. What is the difference between? What is the difference? Here you need to calculate the difference between which numbers? Number of blue color cars, model C, metro M. Model C, metro M, blue color. Blue color means this is the blue color. That is 50,000. 50,000, right? And then number of red color. Red color cars model F metro H. Model F means that is last one. Metro H which color? Red color. Red color that is 34. 34,000. Now the question is what is the difference between these two? 50,000 minus 34,000 which is equal to 16,000. These problems are very simple. Once you understand the information and also observation is very important. Here 50 minus 34, 16, all the values are given in terms of thousands. Therefore, our required answer is 16,000. Option D is the right answer. Next question. In Metro M, in Metro M, the number of cars sold was maximum for which of the which of the color model combinations? Here, in Metro M, we need to see maximum value. Number of cars sold maximum for which color and which model. Once look at the highest values. Here, as of now, first I will go with uh, column by column in Metro M. Right? 40 is highest. 45, 50, 55. As of now, 55. And next, uh, 55. All the values in second column less than 55. So, not required. As of now, 55. And next, 60 is there. So, you can strike off this one. 60. And then, uh, and next, uh, fourth column. 75 is there. 80 is there. 90 is there. Right? So, you can strike off this 60 also. 85 is there. And next, in last, uh, silver color. Not even a single model is uh, greater than 90. Therefore, what is this 90 model and color? Here, Metro M, model is C and the color is white. White color, model C. Option A is the right answer. That is the maximum value. That is the maximum value. Option A. Next question. The total number of blue color cars of model E and D sold in Metro H. Here, E and D. E and D. Metro H. Metro H, which color? Blue color. Blue color, that is uh, sum of these two. 
the total number of blue color cars blue color cars model e and d that is 37 plus 43 which is equal to how much 80 this value is exactly equal to number of white color cars of which model in metro m in metro m white color cars in metro m white color cars exactly equal that means 80000 value is exactly for which model 80 is this one this is belongs to model b model b is the right answer option a next question the difference between the difference between white color cars sold between two metros of which of the following models is minimum here we need to calculate what difference between white color cars white color cars sold between two metros here white color cars difference white color cars difference between metro cities m and h we need to calculate the difference first model a b c d e and f we need to calculate white color difference white color difference in both the metros here first value 75 and 60 75 minus 60 difference is 15 and then 80 and 81 difference is 81 minus 80 here difference is nothing but highest value minus lowest value this is one and next 90 and 86 90 minus 86 4 and then 85 90 90 minus 85 what is the difference 5 as of now difference is highest for 15 model a and then model e this is 60 and this is 77 77 minus 60 which is equal to 17 now this is the highest you can eliminate this one also and the last one 75 and 87 87 minus 75 here the difference is 12 now among all these values difference is uh, here we need to calculate difference minimum not maximum this is the maximum difference and the minimum difference minimum difference is this one minimum minimum difference is uh, model b that is the answer he is uh, not asking about maximum he is asking about minimum difference that is model b that is option b is the right answer guys that's all about uh, this session. I hope you enjoy the session and uh, you understand each and every problem belongs to this particular data interpretation. Thank you. Thanks for watching.